Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Jay from the HMC Detail Supplies. We are doing a little demo today on our new bundle kit we got on in stock. It's a one and a half gallon a minute unit at 1600 PSI. It comes with a pressure washer hose, a snub gun, a foam cannon, and a gallon of our Texas washing wax. And the price on it is only $389. Uh, we got flat rate shipping available uh, for $45. If you call us up or hit us up on Instagram, we can offer you a better pricing on uh, on shipping so here you can see us setting it up uh, we've got our one inch plumbing uh, line to it with our garden hose attachment uh, we've got our 25 foot uh, pressure washer hose and saw with our snub gun um, and we're just gonna try and get it all assembled so we can uh, test it out and uh, give you guys a demo make sure it works with a 50 gallon tank and uh, check it out so now we're filling up the tank with water. We're going to do it only about halfway because, I mean, we don't think we need much uh, for just doing this demo. We're not really detailing out of this car. I just want to show you guys, uh, you know, it is possible. Um, so we've got it all set up and filling up the tank. And, the man, accidentally that hose just came flying out <laughs> and got us all wet and got me all wet. Uh, so I ran over to the spigot and turned it down so I can get back to it. Um, it, it was cold out, so... It kind of took me off, but other than that, it's just funny. Um, so here we go again, just uh, fixing the hose, getting it out from underneath me. So uh, one thing that happens, like when I was actually uh, when I was distracted by getting soap, uh, I was turning on the gas line, and I just I don't know I, I thought I turned it on, but I must have either shut it back off instantly when I started getting wet or it just forgot to turn it on. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we were having trouble starting it and I, I went and got a towel to dry myself off and dry the machine off because we got it super soaked. And I did do some voice recording on this, but it just was so windy today, guys, like it couldn't, I, it didn't sound good. So I went, over, I went ahead and uh, started doing this voiceover. Um, that way you guys can hear me clearer and I can uh, explain a little more what was going on better. So we got a lot of it dried up, um, dried some of the engine off because there was a lot of water on everything. Uh, and then you see me again trying to start it up and I don't have the gas line turned on so I'm sitting there like an idiot. Uh, just pulling and pulling and opening and closing the chokes and flooding the engine. Uh, but I mean after, see after 15 years of doing this, you know, um, you and I get, you know, caught up and sidetracked on what's going on and have troubles doing just normal stuff. But anyways, uh, a few more pulls here and then you'll see it turn on. Uh, I finally figured out that I, I left the gas line off and uh, made some adjustments and uh, we got it going. So it's on. It's operating. I'm sitting here trying to squeeze some of the air bubbles and get the pump prime. Uh, it's not working. So I didn't fill the tank uh, prior to getting the air out of the line. So I know for a fact I'm going to have to go in and force feed some of the water to push some of that air out of the pump head. Um, so I'm going to the side and taking off my jacket because I don't want to get my World Series jacket uh, all wet and nasty but uh, here I go I'm back in frame and we're going to turn down the throttle that way we don't overheat that pump and uh, just adjust uh, the hose make sure there's no uh, you know air leaking so that will cause any cavitation and uh, here I go grabbing the garden hose and I'm gonna get Ed on the uh, spigot to turn it on so we can get some uh, water pushed in through the inside of the tank through the outlet so I'm putting my arm in. You can see me a little bit until Ed gets in the way with his legs. You can see him turning on the water. And uh, here in a few seconds, you'll see that uh, hose uh, shake just a little bit. As soon as you see that prime hit, I'm turning up the throttle again to uh, you know speed up the pump. And there you go. You can see it vibrate there and uh, a little bit of pressure starting. So we're done with that. Pressure uh, pump is prime. Typically, you're going to want to do this on any new pressure washer setup. Um, that hasn't been primed for you uh, this is going to help you know f uh, get all the air gaps out of the pump out of your hose um, and just get just feed uh, help the gravity feed system work better um, a lot of guys set up and don't do this and they think that their pumps incapable of doing it there are some cheaper pumps that uh, have really strong springs that 
won't allow for this because uh, the water pressure isn't good enough to push them open and allow water to come in um, with a naturally uh, or a gravity fed system but as you can see this one had no issues with that um, the pressure was great uh, felt like I was getting the full 1600 psi uh, at the one and a half gallons per minute so um, sent Ed to go get a foam cannon and I'm just running around testing it out demonstrating the pressure that it, it has um, it's got a yellow tip on there I think that's like a 15 degree tip it's a pretty small tip so the you can probably go to like a, a 40 degree if you're used to that for a wider spread but uh, for what we're demoing today, uh, this unit comes with, I think, a soap injector tip, a uh, zero degree nozzle, and this yellow uh, 25 or 15 degree nozzle. So um, that's what we have on hand. That's what we're going to try out. And also make sure you just don't run any um, hardware store or pressure washer store and just pick up any uh, nozzle because these nozzles are typically rated for uh, your pressure washer and, how, and the GPM flow out of it, um, which I'm going to make sure. If you do buy new nozzles that you got the correct nozzle flow for your pressure washer um, you can see here it's working great man it's got no issues whatsoever running off a 50 gallon tank on a gravity feed there's no primer pumps there's nothing special that we did we just used one inch hose from the tank with one inch fittings to a three quarter inch garden hose um, uh, fitting we also have those available for sale we also have the tank for sale if you need those too just call us up let us know what you need and we can get it in store for you. Um, I'm doing a little demo here on the concrete. You know, the pressure is pretty good. If you want to put a 36 inch or 24 inch lance on it, uh, you can do some driveway cleaning, some little concrete work. Um, I wouldn't recommend and go start a business with this unit doing pressure washing jobs because, I mean, you're going to be stuck there all day long. Um, but as for like just doing your personal stuff, working around the house, it'll work great. Um, no issues. And you see there's taking mildew off the side panel, mold off the ground, and uh, some. You know, just the yellow, the dirty grime on that yellow side, on that yellow uh, street sign. So I'm now I'm just waiting on Ed to bring out the foam cannon. He's probably in the shop mixing up some uh, soap to uh, you know dilute it in the foam cannon. Um, he's coming shortly with it. Uh, the foam cannon we demoed here is the wide, wide mouth uh, foam cannon we carry. I don't recommend it with this unit. It's, it's orifice size. It's a little bit too big. Um, so you'll see it come out a little watery. We'll probably, we had a demo yesterday on the actual foam cannon that comes with this unit. We just ran out of them um, the day before this as we sold so many of these units on the first run. So it is, uh, you can see a little water down. I mean, it could be Ed's mixture of soap. I didn't really manage that, but uh, I mean, it works good. It's, it's, it's doing its job. It's getting foam on the car and it's uh, just doing little adjustments here to get the settings set up so it can foam nice and thick so we're laying down uh, some Texas wash and wax I'm not sure the dilution ratio uh, with the wide mouth uh, foam cannon and looking good man um, a little runny like I said I mean, he could put a, probably a little more soap in there um, but definitely I would go with the other foam cannon the one that comes with this unit um, yeah, I think it'll it'll produce a little better foam action for you. So now you see it all foamed up. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to our yellow tip and get it rinsed off for you, so that way you can see you know the rinsing power that it has. Um, and this unit, you know, it doesn't pack that big of a punch. It's just 1600 psi at 1.5 gallons per minute, and you'll see electric units that claim to have that much power, but honestly they don't man they kind of they're overrated um i'm not saying overrated like a mean term just they're they're honestly the the technical specs on them are overrated they're, they they kind of that's what their maxed out specs would be and, and honestly they don't meet their maxed out specs on electric units so that's a one inch line uh coming in off a 50 gallon tank halfway filled so, I mean, like I said, you could probably run this on a smaller tank, 35, 25 gallon tank in the back of a smaller vehicle uh, without having to worry about, you know, pulling in and out of a skid, a skid out of it and not having to worry about, uh, you know, the electric units not being able to prime up with the, uh, with the, the gravity fed system. Um, I try to push it back in further, just kind of give you some space, but actually this tank didn't fit in there. So uh, I just left it at that. 
Alright guys, well that concludes our video for today. We appreciate you guys tuning in and watching our demos on all this stuff. Um, if you guys have any more questions, you can uh, message us online at HMC underscore detail underscore supply on our Instagram account. You can call us online and Google us. Our number's on, on Google. Um, and if you are ready to order this unit, uh, go to our website at hmcdetailsupply.com.